We're almost out of time, but I, hit me with your very last controversial opinion. Okay. Well, my controversial opinion is that Taylor Swift ultimately represents uh, femininity and she doesn't want to, but that's the way it is. And our culture craves that. Uh, and I, I uh, wrote an op-ed about this for Tim Cast a couple of weeks ago. I think that her entire career is based on uh, traditionally female values and virtues. And she plays feminist when it'll make her money or my personal I wish this was true, uh, to get feminist moms to let their daughters listen to her music, right? So she, I'm not just writing about boys, <laughs> I'm denouncing the patriarchy. Um, I, I think, you know, I grew up with Taylor Swift's music around, we're similar ages. She was just on the radio. Even if you were not hunting out her stuff, she was around. And uh, she talks about love. Her her music is about friendship and relationship. She's obviously very perceptive, very detail-oriented. These are very feminine traits. Uh, and she is consistently talking about getting married, having children. And I think that's good. I think this idea that uh, all female pop artists are ultimately drawn to feminism is only true on the surface. And if you look at what they are saying underneath, they are preaching, they're screaming, they're singing that they want a traditional life. They want to be married. They want to find love. Yeah, I think you're 100% correct in this. I would call Taylor Swift accidentally authentic. So even if she mm -hmm. doesn't think that she's a traditional woman or a feminine woman or um, she was trying to listen to what she wanted, her own desires, so authentically that she accidentally portrayed a traditional conservative version of womanhood, the true version of womanhood. And it's only her uh, mind that's been captured by the ideology that's like, wait, isn't there some contradiction in this? But how can it be contradictory when this is what I'm authentically feeling, but this is what the politics tell me to believe? I think you're correct. And I think, I mean, isn't this one of the reasons why her era's tour is so successful? Because this, like the Kardashians, is what young women want to hear.